What's up, my friends? I've got some truly exciting news to share with all of you today. Brace yourselves, because we're about to dive deep into the details of a massive $2,000 stimulus payment that could be hitting bank accounts as soon as tomorrow for millions of Americans. That's right, you heard me correctly. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI. SSDI, and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. A $2,000 check coming your way potentially in just a matter of hours or days. Now I know managing finances and understanding government programs can feel overwhelming at times, especially for us seniors out there, but have no fear. I'm going to break this all down in simple, easy to understand terms so you can relax knowing exactly what's going on. First up, let's talk about who qualifies for these $2,000 payments. If you're already receiving benefits like Social Security Retirement, SSI Disability, or SSDI, then chances are very high that you'll be eligible. But just to cover all the bases, I'll walk through the qualifications step by step so you can double check and have total peace of mind about where you stand. To qualify, you essentially just need to be an existing beneficiary of Social Security Retirement. SSI for the Blind Disabled, or SSDI for Disabled Workers. There don't appear to be any additional income limits, means testing, or other barriers beyond currently receiving those federal benefit programs. So if you're in that group of Social Security, SSI, or SSDI recipients, you should be in line for the full $2,000 stimulus payment. Now, for those of you who do qualify, We'll go over any necessary paperwork requirements to double check that your bank account or mailing address information is up to date and properly linked to your federal benefits account. Doing this could be the difference between getting your $2,000 within just a day or two versus potential delays of weeks or even months. Trust me, we want to get you this cash infusion as rapidly as possible. You might be wondering why exactly is the government providing $2,000 stimulus checks specifically for seniors and the disabled right now? Well, there are a few factors that seem to be driving this move towards more direct cash relief. First off, inflation has just been absolutely brutal over the past year, hitting fixed income households like Social Security beneficiaries the hardest. Sure. There was a decent 8.7% cost of living adjustment for 2023 Social Security benefits, the highest raise in decades. But realistically, that increase hasn't even come close to offsetting soaring prices for basics like groceries, rent, utilities, and prescriptions that most seniors simply cannot do without. The incessant rise in costs has created an unprecedented financial hardship for millions of retired and disabled Americans. On top of this inflation crisis, overall economic conditions have remained stagnant at best and potentially headed towards a recession with all the industrial slowdowns, housing market issues, rising interest rates, and declines in consumer spending. As things get tougher across the board, there's been mounting pressure on leaders in Washington to find ways to get more direct cash assistance out to the most vulnerable households struggling to make ends meet. And who better to target than the 65 million Americans consisting of seniors and the disabled already on the Social Security, SSI, and SSDI roles? By putting $2,000 straight into their pockets and bank accounts, the hope is that this stimulus can provide some crucial relief while also giving a bottom-up jolt to the economy. Just imagine what an extra $2,000 could do for your monthly budget, whether it's paying off credit cards, covering rent or mortgage, stocking up on groceries, or simply building a little emergency buffer. That kind of financial breathing room can make a massive difference for those living on fixed incomes and disability payments. And with that, money getting injected directly into the grassroots consumer economy, it could spur economic growth from the bottom up at a time when a recession may be looming. Speaking of recession risks, we also can't ignore the potential political calculations and motivations behind this stimulus plan especially with the 2024 presidential election rapidly approaching. Senior voters have historically been one of the most reliable and powerful voting blocs, given their high turnout rates in every election. 
So what better way for politicians to try and court the senior vote than by putting cold, hard cash directly into their wallets and bank accounts? Make no mistake, despite the economic justifications, winning over seniors could absolutely be a cynical calculus driving this move with the White House up for grabs next year. Putting the politics aside, though, based on the details that have been pieced together so far, it does appear that if rolled out, this $2,000 stimulus would apply to essentially any American age 65 or older currently drawing Social Security retirement benefit. This includes not just retired workers themselves, but also eligible spouses, widows, widowers, and disabled children or adult dependents receiving auxiliary benefits on a primary recipient's record. Additionally, all of the estimated 8 million workers receiving Social Security Disability Insurance or SSDI due to long-term disabilities would also qualify for the $2,000 payment, as well as the over 6 million blind or disabled adults and children receiving supplemental Security Income or SSI Disability benefits each month. Now here's where it gets really good, unlike previous pandemic stimulus programs with complex phase-outs and income thresholds. This new $2,000 payment seems to have virtually no additional requirements beyond simply being a current beneficiary of Social Security, SDI or SF. Right now, it doesn't matter if you have income from other sources like a part-time job, investments, or a pension if you're receiving any of those three major federal benefits, you would likely qualify for the full $2,000 check. The only potential caveat or limitation is that those who have existing garnishments or offsets being taken from their Social Security benefits due to things like unpaid taxes, student loans, or child support arrears may potentially receive a reduced stimulus amount after those deductions are taken into account. But even in those cases, you'd still likely get at least a portion of the $2,000 payment headed your way. There are also still some remaining unclear details around things like whether dependents such as children or disabled adult dependents would qualify for supplemental stimulus amounts beyond just the primary beneficiary's $2,000 payment. More guidance is definitely still needed to fully understand those potential exceptions. But here's where it gets really exciting if and when this stimulus package gets finalized and approved, sources indicate the money could start going out to recipients almost immediately, like potentially hitting some bank accounts as soon as tomorrow or over the next few days at the latest. The goal is to use existing electronic payment systems and processes already in place from previous pandemic relief efforts to ensure that over 85% of qualifying seniors and disabled individuals will have access to their $2,000 within just two, three days of them. Stimulus being launched. For those already enrolled in direct deposit for their monthly Social Security, SSDI, or SSI payments, the $2,000 stimulus amount would essentially just get tacked onto their next regular payment and show up in their bank account almost immediately. Same goes for recipients using the government's direct express debit card. The stimulus money would just get loaded directly onto those cards and be available to withdraw or spend right away. Even for those still receiving physical checks in the mail each month, there are said to be prioritization protocols in place to ensure the $2,000 stimulus checks get printed sorted, and delivered via USBS first-class mail as an absolute top priority. So while it may take a bit longer, potentially up to two weeks for the entire mail delivery process, the goal is to have all of those physical stimulus checks arriving in mailboxes across America no later than very early May at the absolute latest. However, we know that with a program trying to rapidly disperse over $130 billion worth of payments to 65 million different recipients, there are always going to be some snags, delays, or even missing payments that will inevitably happen, despite the best of plans. If your 2000 stimulus money doesn't show up via direct deposit, your direct express card, or in the mail within those expected timeframes, based on how you normally receive your federal benefits, never fear. There are said to be contingency plans in the works to handle those situations and get you squared away. From what I'm seeing, guidance indicates that there will be a specialized stimulus assistance hotline set up specifically to help with things like verifying eligibility status, checking on anticipated payment delivery schedules based on your location and method of payment, and potentially 
triggering reissues of stimulus funds in cases where there's evidence of complications, errors, or missing money that just hasn't arrived. They're also expected to launch some kind of online portal, similar to the Get My Payment tools that were utilized to track stimulus funds during the pandemic. These online resources would allow you to check on the status of your stimulus, update any banking or mailing information if needed, and potentially request a payment trace in cases where things went awry in getting your money out. Of course, with a program dispersing over $130 billion to tens of millions of people, there are going to be some complicated scenarios and nuances around things like outstanding debts, garnishments, and potential offsets, impacting the full 2000 amount for certain recipients. If you happen to have any outstanding federal debts like overdue student loans, back taxes, or delinquent child support payments, it's possible that some or all of your $2,000 stimulus could get garnished or seized to cover those outstanding balances first. The same may apply for private debt situations like outstanding consumer debts, unpaid medical bills, or other commercial debt obligations. In those cases, creditors and debt collectors may potentially be able to legally garnish a portion or all of the $2,000 stimulus before you would actually get access to it. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss an updates all things related stimulus.